Bad news, everyone. Uh, the parasitic screw worm is at uh, risk of re-entering the United States. Uh, this came out just today, but the news is actually from November, uh, but things are still very concerning. Uh, screw worm flies, which are a kind of perpetual threat to livestock in North and South America, have been detected uh, and confirmed in Mexico, in southern Mexico, resulting in the USDA now putting a quarantine on all cattle and bison entering the United States from Mexico for fear that these parasites could have or will become established in Texas. So for those of you who don't know, uh, this is the New World screw worm, Cochleoma, uh, Cochleomaya hominivorax, which literally means a man-eater. Uh, and they lay their eggs in the flesh of all sorts of warm-blooded creatures. Uh, historically, they've been a, a large issue for the cattle industry, but any sort of livestock industry or uh, large birds, uh, wild deer, and then also people are at risk of these. Uh, people and also all of, you know, all of your pets, all of your outdoor pets. Uh, basically, uh, they lay their uh, their eggs directly into uh, small wounds or the human eyes or the sinus cavity of humans and animals, um, and then the maggots hatch. Not not one like what you see with bot flies, where it's like one maggot, but a lot of maggots all at once, and then they begin burrowing into the flesh of their hosts. Um, and these infestations can be very severe. They can kill their hosts within a week or two. Um, and they're just a foul, foul insect. Uh, originally, these were found all over the warm, warm places of North and South America. Uh, this was a perennial pest back in the 1800s and the early 1900s in the United States. Uh, but the USDA uh, established a sterile insect rearing program in order to drive these flies to extinction. And what that did basically was you irradiate a bunch of male flies and then release them into the environment. They mate with the females, but they're sterile because of all the radiation, um, and the females lay unfertilized eggs, and then the population of the insect collapses. This was extremely, extremely effective, and it drove uh, these flies to extinction throughout North America, all the way down to Panama. And since, uh, I don't know, the 60s or the 70s, there has been a research station in Panama which is constantly producing these sterile flies and releasing them into the Darien Gap between North and South America in order to keep these flies from becoming reestablished in North America. Uh, well, that containment has apparently been failing over the last several years, and these flies have been making their way northward again, um, either th from South America or there's a few remaining infestations in the Caribbean, like in Haiti, uh, in 2016, there was an infestation that developed in the Florida Keys that was eventually eliminated by 2017, but it had killed a, or infested and killed a bunch of deer in the area. Um, and I believe a few pets had to be put down. Uh, but now this infestation has come up through uh, Central America, through Guatemala, uh, into Southern Mexico, where now there are cows apparently infested with these flies. Um, so now there is this quarantine. So if you uh, live in Texas, you might want to consider keeping an eye out on any of your pets uh, in case they develop any sorts of large wounds that seem to be growing on their face or, um, you, you know, on any small wound that they have that suddenly got quite a bit larger. The, these aren't, uh, you know, inconspicuous. You would know that something was the, uh, something was wrong with your animal if they developed myiasis. But it is really bad news. This is going to require uh, millions and millions of dollars in order to eradicate in Mexico to prevent it spread into North America, assuming it hasn't already crossed the border. Um, and it's going to make beef imports and things like that much more expensive. Uh, the big risk for spread at this point is probably more in uh, the threat of infestation of migratory birds, just because these flies will also infect uh, birds and they'll come up you know, once the once the weather warms up, they'll come up north from Mexico and the Caribbean, and that could be a major issue. So I will link to uh, this story and then a release from the USDA in the description, and I'll talk to you guys later.